Okay. Now we're going to go and test these boards real quick. So I learned on these voltage regulators. This was on the older PS2 MTH models. They, this was the first installation, the way they would do it on their sound boards. And this voltage regulator would burn out before frying the boards on the locomotives. So I repaired a couple. And that's how I started learning about this. Then I started learning about the capacitors on the soundboard. Sometimes the capacitors would look like a piece of popcorn. The top wouldn't be flat anymore. It'd be all bubbled out. So I would replace those. Uh, then learn more about cascading effect and that sometimes just because the capacitor goes out and you replace it doesn't mean that uh, other things went out like the resistor or diodes, which I have diodes here. But anyway, let's get into testing. So I use a tester that makes noise and then I start testing. So I start testing like, okay, is this, is this the positive? Let's confirm this. Okay. We're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to be testing the roller here and we're going to be testing the positive on the board over here and you'll hear it beat. Can't really see it, but, and you got to be fragile. This stuff is so fragile. The soldering and it's cold and that even makes it more rigid like ice. See, there you go. See, and now that's a positive on the diode. Now, there is no positive, you know, as I get down here on this capacitor, no positive here and no positive on the, on the voltage regulator. So we know this is positive now. Now, the ground, it would be ground, and it's going to go to, come on, you go to the wheels. There it is. Okay, see, it won't work on the positive. And then it, see, then I get in the ground on the capacitor right here where the little black line is. It's a negative. Okay, so now that we're testing that, and we know this is the pickup side, that's why we're testing, to make sure this is the, the pickup side for the, the power on the track, constant power. Now we're going to test this one. This must be to the shoes. Do the exact same thing. I test the board, and I test the shoes. Let's see if I can get this around here like this. Get this in the view. So then I test the shoes. And make sure which one's which. Oh, they're down on the other side here. Okay. So there's the positive. How do I know it's positive? We're going to find that out real quick. And then this is the negative shoe over here. Okay, there we go. So, and I was testing it. There it is. Negative, positive. Now, how we know if there's a negative or a positive is... We start testing now. So we know, is this the positive? We start going around. And... Oh, there's numbers. I don't know if you can see that over there. There you go. There's numbers in this. Here, let's get this in here. Okay. So then... The, the voltage regulator board is down here now. This is the input. The output. And the negative, right there, see? So, and the negative can be traced back almost to the negative on the, on the board, which is what I'm working on here. See? Now, because their numbers show up and it won't beep no anymore, it's because of the, the diode and the capacitors. So they're reducing the power like they should. That's also teaching me that nothing's burnt out yet. It would be straight through. It would be 12 volts going straight through over to there, and that would be bad. So, that's how we test it. Then we make sure that we know which is ground, which is positive, and we test it back to the voltage regulator chip. Got a bad habit of calling that thing a board. This is the board. This is the board right here. This is the voltage regulator chip. This is the solenoid for uh, sig sending the sig power through over to the constant power so the signal man light will go and the motor will go. All right. Now we're going to solder it up. Thank you for looking. Be safe.